What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Coolest Motherfucker here, and I'm coming at you again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Now, it's been a while since I've made a, t uh, a tutorial on how to make uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! playmats, but luckily now I can actually uh, give you this kind of content and have you f be able to finish your project. And by that, I mean in the last few videos that I've made about, update, uh, uh, about making these templates, or making these uh, playmats from tutorials and templates, I've never really had a way for you to print them out yourself. Uh, I've never had a way for you to go to, say, a website or to a person and have them print the mat out for you at a reasonable price and uh, get them back to you. Know, like before, it was used to be really expensive, like sixty bucks to have your playmat printed. Now it's a lot cheaper, and so it's also a lot cheaper for you to get stuff to help you make the playmat so like gimp is it your only option for making uh for making the playmat from a template um getting photoshop is not necessarily hard or legal but it's also um something that you can do if you are inclined you know um and you know so it's like uh links to templates and stuff on the description below and this is just mostly a tutorial on if you've never done this before and you want to have a quick jump guide into getting it. Um, there's also a new template instead of the old one. There's also a new one that has pendulum scales on it. So I wanted to show you guys that. And so this way um, we can have it all kind of set up and ready to go in a sense. So I uh, just wanted to sh share that with you guys so you guys understand what's uh, going on, where we're coming from, and what's uh, and how I'm doing this. So the old videos all have broken links. Um, unfortunately, that's the issue. Um, if you want to check them out for like, with a, like I made some in-depth playmats on them. Like I made a, a Kha'Zix and Ring Arc playmat on my last one. Um, they're all gonna be on my channel, and they're very easy to find. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get into the uh, actual making of the playmat here. So, we'll just uh, we'll open up a... we'll do the new one. Uh, first time I tried to make this video, I did the old one. Uh, file got corrupted because I was uh, adding way too many big files. So. Uh, so, this is what the new one looks like. It has your monster zones, your spell zones, your deck, graveyard... Uh, field and extra deck and then it has your left and right pendulums right and also has this nice little thing in the center so I like I like the layout that this has like a box look I was never a big fan of it at first but you know beggars can't be choosers right so this has a couple of little things in it to begin with so first off you have your English RV you have your Japanese RV uh, logos here in the center you have your uh, monster card zone uh this is the white outline for defense uh, mode stuff this is the white outline for your uh card zones the fill for the inside and then you have your little jewels for the uh stuff over there so let's uh let's take the fill let's leave the fill on but let's lower the opacity down to about eh, 25 just so we can see that slight hint of it and uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep out I'm going to keep the outlines on right now just in case but there you go so we're gonna immediately save this as a new file we're just gonna call this uh, new uh, new we're just gonna call it new okay and then so immediately what we're going to do now is we're just going to start taking uh, images from what we want and we want to put them in so I'm trying to uh, I'm making light sword mat so let's just grab some of this stuff here let's not grab that stuff let's just grab let's just grab the uh, few things I'm gonna actually use here we're making a light sword mat so we're gonna make a JD mat here just gotta find my JD render okay we're gonna copy that right over here taking a file with transparency and just kind of putting it on here. So we're going to put this behind the uh, the fill here and we're going to blow it up. Just blow it the hell up. I kind of want them to stay centered so I'm going to use the two little jewel things that I have here as like guides 
in a sense. Like so, this uh, this one ends on this uh, part. This one ends here. Just gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna eyeball a little bit. Yeah, just trying to make them kind of end up in the center the most I can, you know. So we're also going to put a background on this. We're gonna probably go with some kind of galaxy background. Let's try this guy because it's nice and dark to accentuate what we have here. So we're going to take this, close it. We're gonna put it right here behind it. We're just gonna stretch it out, and we're gonna again. We're gonna try to center it as much as we can, so this way we keep the most balance in our picture. You know, like not necessarily balance, but the nice look of it. So right now you have like Cast Number Dragon, or not Cast Number Dragon, that was the other one. We have JD right here. Let's get a nice, let's get a, a cool little effect here. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's do it like this. And we'll give it a cool little effect. We'll uh, make it bigger and just kind of stretch it here out there like that. Yeah. Again, try to center it a little bit. I'm going to move JD over to keep him in the center of it. There you go. And then we're going to press take this nice explosion thing. We'll, uh, we'll also uh, put that here. Nice little explosion. We have of a JD. So uh, we'll just keep moving this over a little bit here. Do this. Uh, we'll take color burn. We'll do that. And then we'll finish it off with some nice little lighting effects here. Kind of a an attempt to make him look like a godlike kind of figure. We'll uh, we'll put a little bit of multiply on that. Mul not multiply. Vivid light. There, we go. and then we'll soften that up by making it like a 50%. Yeah. So now we have this. And you know what, what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to make the wingspan hit the pendulums and just, yeah, I kind of like this whole idea here where we have like, yeah, and so what we'll do here is, I got to move this down because I'm going to make it even bigger and just kind of. Oh, no, that's not a good idea. Yeah. And it's doing its transforming thing. And so with this, we're basically just, uh, we're, you know, we're making it like a nice little, we're, we're making it like a cool little background here for it. So it's it's so we got this whole spacey kind of feel. We got this big old explosion-y kind of galaxy in the back. It's this, you know, this version of a, uh, you know, Judgment Dragon that we haven't really seen in many things. So we can also take this off. We can take the outlines off, and we can have this. We're gonna take these jewels off. We can have this as our playmat too. So that's what we have here. So basically, now guys, what you want to do is you're gonna go to either you're gonna go to Facebook or you're gonna stay here on YouTube, and you can go to two places. You can go to mcol 40 search that around on YouTube, he'll come right up, that guy, uh, great guy, Robbie is a cool dude, yeah, just ask him uh, what he'll do, he'll uh, take the picture that you have, or the PSD, he'll send that, to. Uh, he'll, he'll take that, he'll have the map printed, and he can send it right to you, uh, he usually charges about 25 for it, I think, I think his price might have gone down to 20 recently, I'm not 100% on that, just, you know, uh, ask. 
Um, or you can go to Facebook and in the group Zodiac Duelists, you can find Robbie Cole there, or you can and you can ask him there or on his Facebook. Just you know, mess give him pop him a message. Uh, hey, I would like to have a, a playmat printed out, and just let him know that you came you you were staying here from this video. And that's it. That's uh, really all you need to do, guys. Um, you can also go to some other uh, websites like Inked Playmats. They're also pretty good about that kind of stuff. They're actually uh, where I got my play uh, playmats printed before. Um, I have three from Robbie and I have two from Inked Playmats. Um, Inked Playmats is very good about them, but Robbie has some really good quality. So. I'm not going to diss that. Robbie is my preferred uh, choice. Um, Alright guys, so don't, hit, don't forget to hit that sub button if you like this video and you want some more of it. Um, I know I kind of elongated this video by doing the whole uh, go along with the whole JD Matt. Um, I that didn't really have to, but uh, people, some people aren't necessarily uh, great at Photoshop or they're new to it. Like This is just what I did in 10 minutes. So imagine what you can do if you spent like three hours on it. Uh, you can make something extremely uh, cool and vivid. Um, and then you can have that awesome image not only saved to your computer if you wanted it, but on a play mat. And then you can play on and you can play on it and it's really cool. It's a great idea. It's special. And then uh, yeah. So uh, links on the description. I'm gonna get some permalinks this time. So this uh, so um, if the website messes up, the website that I used before actually got taken down before it came back up, and that's why the links all messed up. Uh, the links expired basically after the website got taken down. So now there you go. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Cool as motherfucker. Signing out.